Hey, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for November 17, 2021. If you'd like to make a purchase, Virgos, you guys can do that at tarotbarbie.com. Um, let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Devil card there. You guys could have been dealing with a, hmm, a Leo, a Capricorn, a Scorpio, uh, a Libra here as well. And then we got everybody else on the board here, Virgos, okay? Uh, Aries as well. And everybody, Virgo, okay? So coming with the Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Devil card there. There was some shit that you guys didn't think was ever going to be seen, but it looks like it ended up happening, Virgos. Eight of Swords, Two of, two of Swords, King of Wands. You guys didn't see that. This, there was going to be a lot of shit coming your way. You guys had no idea. You weren't able to see it. Two of Swords. It is honestly going to be coming in for you guys just now, coming at the beginning of the month of uh, December. Some of you guys, it had already happened. A, mother, a few of you guys is going to end up coming in for the month of December. A lot of you guys are not going to be seeing this coming. Coming in with the King of so King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I'm worried, Virgos, that somebody here is going to end up getting kicked out of the house, getting kicked out, whatever the case is, where you guys are literally going to have to go onto the street and beg people, maybe even a shelter for that matter. Like, your shit is just going to go, broop, like, nothing is going to end up, some shit's going to about to, like, literally go down. And I'm kind of worried about you guys, Virgos, on a, on a real note. Uh, regardless, do the best you guys can to take care of yourselves as well. Somebody here may have also... Uh, gotten the coronavirus coming with the ace of cups or some sort of mutation is coming in for you guys where you guys may be begging or going to the hospital asking them for help um i'm sure you guys are going to be okay virgos because i do got the strength card right over there right um at the end of the day there is a lot of toxic energy around you guys so if somebody ends up getting kicked out of their home whatever virgos it's saying that you guys are just going to have to find a way to get out of that situation immediately, like new instructions, you know what I mean? Like you're going to have to just quickly switch up shit and then make a move, but you guys are going to still be strong while you guys are going through the situation, coming in with the strength card. You guys have eternity on your, on your, on your side, meaning no matter how many times you guys see bad things, it's always going to be transmuted and then being back into good energy again for you guys with the, with the eternity uh, symbol right there so you guys are going to be okay for anybody who's going through something like this somebody here may also be getting released out of jail virgos they are in fact going to be deported and they're going to have immigration involved as well somebody here may also be going back to their homeland <sighs> i keep seeing the caribbean virgos whether this be like trinidad guyana jamaica um i don't know Somebody here might end up getting deported back to their homeland here, uh, coming with the Justice card, Four of Swords, and the Knight of Wands energy as well, all right? So it's just saying here, Virgos, that things are not going to be all that great at the moment coming with the Tower. Things are just going to be a little bit shaky, a little bit unbalanced here. This might be someone's karma for the way that they may have treated you here too. <sighs> Just please take care of yourselves, Virgo. Do you guys have a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles there? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini energy there. There's going to be a, some sort of separation between you and this person here, Vir Virgos. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's going to want to come towards you. They have an offer for you. Uh, this person is going to be trying to come back in with integrity. But the thing is, there's something wrong here, Virgos. There's somebody here might not be feeling well. They might have to go to a physician. Somebody here might have some sort of mental illness. Somebody here is able to quickly destroy things immediately. Definitely a dysfunctional home or it was definitely a dysfunctional relationship coming in with the Ten of Cups in reverse. So for that, Five of Pentacles, you guys are separated. You guys are very loving and very intelligent coming in with the Queen of Pentacles. You know what it is that you don't want in a relationship. You know what it is that you don't want, right? So regardless, though, it looks like this person is going to try and see if they can come back and get get you back. But knowing the person that you guys are, it doesn't look like you guys want to be back in a destructive relationship with this person. Um, if there might be somebody here who might not be feeling well. It's saying, Virgos, you guys might have to go to a physician and go get that checked up on with the Four of Wands to the Two of Cups. It doesn't look like you guys are going to be wanting to get back into a relationship with this person anymore. Virgos, if you guys are planning on moving and going into your new house, you need to sage that house before you guys go into, you need to sanctify it. You guys need to literally purify that home. Whatever it is that you guys end up getting. If you're not living in that home or wherever it is that you're coming from and people were there before you, you need to sage it at the end of the day. It, it's just, you got to purify it, Virgos. This relationship, I don't see it working out, to be honest with you. Somebody here might be also living in a very beautiful home. At the end of the day, though, it did cause a lot of heartache, a lot of division between the two of you guys, but you guys are going to be fine and you guys are going to be able to heal yourself. Uh... Just fine with the world card there. You guys may be going through a little bit of stress. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who may have been deceived here and which makes them very much so upset. 
this is going to be coming into the near future where there's going to be a lot of trouble and a lot of fear, Virgos. A lot of trouble and a lot of fear. Somebody here is very, very fearful, but whatever this fear is it's causing this Queen of Cups in reverse, it's literally saying that you have a reason to be fearful. You have it's, you have a reason to be afraid, okay? So it is going to cause a little bit of trouble, a little bit of fear, and a little bit of problems here. But at the end of the day, I'm sure you guys will be able to overcome it. At the bottom of the deck, I got the full card, Aries Energy. <sighs> You guys are wanting. You guys are finally ready to make a move and get away from all the destructive energy. People who are trying to compete with you, people who are trying to fight with you. You guys don't want nothing to do with it. You guys are just living your life with the fool card. Like you know what? I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna live my life, do my own thing. A lot of you guys might be trying to make a move, travel, go on vacation. <sighs> you guys are healing yourselves at the moment, coming with the temperance card. It's also saying that if you guys are going to be traveling, make sure you guys have enough money here too. Uh, it looks like your enemies or people who are competing with you are going to end up becoming the hangman. So they're not going to be able to make a move towards you anymore, okay? Also, Virgos, you guys are going to have to make a decision when it comes to your love life here. It looks like trials are going to overcome for whatever it is that you guys are going through at the moment. Um, Gemini energy there, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person's going to want to try and come back towards you. The thing is in this connection here, Virgos, is that you guys end up arguing a whole lot and you, t and you guys turned your back on this connection with the Three of Wands. It was too much fighting. Somebody here was incredibly careless with you. And now they're like, okay, no, you know what? Now somebody here ended up literally stagnating the whole entire connection because there was too much fighting, too much bullshit. You guys weren't down for it anymore. You guys are the best you guys can to be patient in this situation to see if it's going to end up working out. But it looks like you guys are just too much confused, gave you a little bit of anxiety, too much dreams of lucid dreaming. And you guys are just like, no, I'm out. Three of Wands, too much confusion. You didn't, you didn't know what to do. Uh, regardless, so it's gonna be a Gemini and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who's gonna be coming in. They're gonna want to talk to you here too. They're gonna want to express to you how they feel. This person does still hold on to you on an emotional uh, level, um, on a sorry, on a passionate type of level here with the Page of Wands energy, and they are gonna be expressing that to you. It could also be coming in from an Air, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person knows, Virgo, make sure that this person, Virgos, make sure that this person, right, that they're not coming in just for an intimate connection, like a one-night stand, for instance. It could also be coming in from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys may have also walked away from this person, but it looks like they're going to try and come back in and message you guys again with the Page of Pentacles there. So you guys are going to end up receiving some sort of message from them, or you guys are going to be the ones sending this message to them. Uh, regardless, though, this person knows exactly what it is that they're doing. They know exactly what it is that they're doing, Virgos. So there's no like, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that's what you wanted. I didn't. No, no. They know exactly what they're doing, Virgos. All right. Uh, you guys are very loving and very beautiful with the Queen of Wands energy. However, <sighs> this person like took off on you guys with the Seven of Swords to the Six of Swords energy. They booked it, Virgos. However, they chose to dip out on you. They dipped on you. And now they feel like they have the audacity to actually come back for you. Disrespectful, Virgos. That's mad disrespectful. During the eclipse energy, it's going to be happening. Oh, wow. Literally, now, November 19th, this energy is going to be coming in. That's crazy. And you guys are going to be like, the fuck you coming back here for? <laughs> what you doing back here for? Anyways, it's saying with the high priestess energy, you guys may not even say nothing to this person when they actually reach back out to you. You guys are going to be like reflecting on this person like, mm, who do you think you are? Virgo, you guys are so powerful with the high priestess to the hermit energy right there. You guys be knowing a whole lot. All you need to do is shine your light on everything and then that's it. You guys know exactly what's going on. You don't really need to talk to anybody in order for you to know what they're doing, what they're up to, what the kind of manipulation they're going to try and come towards you with. You seems like you guys know exactly what, what's going on. You have no problem walking away from this person. And some of you guys are literally going to walk away without causing any trying to, kind of trouble, any kind of problems. That's not a you dad, Virgos. You guys don't really like drama, nor, you, nor do you guys like confrontation. And it looks like you guys are going to try and avoid the confrontation with the to the best of your ability. You're dipping, Virgos. You don't want to deal with the shit judgment card because you don't feel like it's a good idea. Uh, so you're going to be putting your fences up, seven of wands, and keeping this person blocked because you think it's the right thing to do. And then Aquarius energy, Emperor energy, Aries, Libra, Taurus energy here as well. So there's going to be somebody here, Virgos, who needs a lot of healing too. This person might be like some sort of star here, Virgos, with the three of cups. There's going to be some sort of celebration with the set nine of cups to the three of cups energy to the star card. So, Virgos, this person is going to do the best they can to try and come back and heal. Or there's, a, there's an Aquarius here 
who drinks a whole lot, parties a whole lot, also does drugs with the Nine of Cups energy to the Three of Cups, and they need to cut that shit out. Otherwise, they're never going to be able to let you in into their energy. They're only going to show you what they want to show you, but they're never going to show you what really is what's really going on. This person might be a little bit domineering at certain times. Emperors, they might not be the type of person that whole laughs a whole lot, you know? Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person comes with a lot of illusion, Virgos. There's a specific star uh, during the eclipse energy, Virgos. I don't know what it's called. It's, it starts with the letter A. Um, I don't know what the star is actually called. I don't have it memorized in, the, in my head. But there's a specific star up in the sky right now that's coming in during the eclipse energy. It's going to create a lot of illusion, a lot of fogginess, a lot of, you know, deceptive energy around you guys. Like, you guys are not going to know. It's, 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 gonna, it's just going to, like, cloud your mind up a little bit. But there's a specific star that's going to, and when I find out what the star is, I know I know the name, but I can't get it out the top of my tongue at the moment here. I'm so sorry, but it is going to be during the eclipse energy, and I'll get you guys the name of the star. But this star is going to um, make um, it, it, it. It's a very important star, Virgos. That's it's going to create a lot of. You know, fogginess and whatever. This is a very important star that's going to be coming in for you guys because it's going to be coming in at the uh, during the eclipse uh, on November 19th. When I find out what star that is, I'm going to let you guys know, but it does start with the letter A. Uh, page, of, page of stories. You guys have a lot of hidden enemies that are watching you, a lot of group of people watching you. Uh, whoever this person hangs out with, with the Nine of Cups, with the Three of Cups, whoever they drink and party with, smoke with, whatever the case is, it's saying that these people are watching you. They're they're wondering what you're up. Do you know who their enemies are? Do you see what I mean? Do do you know who we are as your en? Do you know that we are your enemy? Aquarius energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Pisces. Uh, from what I'm seeing here, Virgos, you got an Aquarius as your enemy. You got a, a Pisces as your enemy. You got an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra as your enemy. Um. Yeah, can't you price the Scorpio, all right? Uh, at the end of the day, four of pentacles, Virgo. Some of you guys, somebody here has a lot of control, controlling problems on when it comes to giving, all right? Somebody here doesn't really like to give. They kind of hold their pocket a little bit here. Um, regardless of there's going to be a cancer price of Scorpio who's going to try and make an offer towards you guys. See, nine of wands. You guys don't want to give anything to anybody anymore because you guys don't trust nothing and you don't trust nobody anyway. But it's saying that you guys' clarity is on point. You guys got speedy intelligence. So if you guys don't want to be giving to certain cer certain person, then no, you're not going to be giving to them at all whatsoever. No. Neither, neither do you want it and neither are you going to give it. It's not going to happen, Virgos. At the end of the day, do expect communication coming in from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys have been through so much uh, manipulation, a lot of deceit, a lot of people who are only selfish for their own gain. Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> and when you ask for it back, they don't want to give you back. So for that, you're holding your pocket. You don't want to give nothing anymore because you're starting to see the same pattern over and over again. And you're just not down for it anymore, Virgos. There might be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here who might be selfish and manipulative. This is a very smart and intelligent person. They are very, very good at mental manipulation. And if you get very caught up with people's psychology, I guarantee you, you're going to be the five of swords. You're going to be the one all the way in the back here, crying sad because this person here, they are going to know how to defeat you. This person knows Virgos, you need to be careful when it comes to mental psychology. If you're not already a, a level, if you, <laughs> there's there's men out here and women out here who are master manipulators, and if you don't know how to, if you if you're not knowledgeable enough to understand how mental emotional m mental manipulation on a psychological works then you shouldn't be getting involved with somebody like this, all right? The only way you're going to literally survive the situation, if your game is literally on point with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you want to throw some shit at me? Okay, I can do the same shit to you. We can both play that game. You see me? But if you're not understanding and you don't know how to play that game, how they know how to keep up their game, three days up, three days down. Believe me, Virgos. Me no. If they got, if they can't, <laughs> this is some severe narcissistic shit, um, some street shit, you know what I mean? This is how the mind, the mind games work on the blocks and stuff, you know what I mean? This is how, this is how somebody holds down four to five women at one time and then nobody would ever fucking know. And even if you guys were to know, 
it would still be a cycle in and out, in and out. Uh, one day you're number five, the next day you're number one, the next day you're number three, the next day you're number two. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> if you don't know how to play the game, then don't be getting yourself involved with people like this because you're going to end up on your face and you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. There's going to be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who might be trying to come in and get a little bit of help here. Help. <sighs> because they see that you are such a beautiful person, Nine of Pentacles, all right? But what they need you to know is that you need to stand in your power with the Queen of Swords and you need to speak your mind and say what it is and how you feel. Wow. Did you guys see that card jump? That That's big, Virgos. This person's very, very selfish. This is the type of person who will, who will come charging at you, who... There's a lot of sword energy here, Virgos. I don't know what's going on, but there's too much sword energy. Somebody here has no problem picking up a sword. You see what I mean? Somebody here carries one on them all the time. It's, it's in their pocket. You need to be careful. It's like a little pocket thing. You know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, uh, please be careful, Virgos. <sighs> with all the pain that you guys have endured with the Ten of Swords energy, um, this they you will end up with a lot of sadness here with the Five of Cups too. All right? But you guys are going to quickly be able to jump up out of that that sadness, that, that betrayal, and you guys are going to continue to move on with your life, Virgos. You guys are going to realize, like, you know what? I'd rather be alone than have to deal with people who are just going to be uh, not treating me well, taking me for granted, you know, because it looks like all they're going to do for you is could just leave you with the Ten of Wands. A lot of chaos, a lot of burden. Having to fucking heal yourself on your own. Where are they at? Where are they at? You know what I mean? Some of you guys might be asking... God to help you guys out, but Virgos, it's saying that I'm picking up alliances here, Virgos, get around, be around people who are going to create a good alliance here with you, find people who are on your same frequency, find people who are going to be down for you the way you're going to be down for them, there's no need to be putting yourselves in situation with people who don't even, are not down for you at all, you're going to end up being hurt, six of wands, you guys are going to be okay, Virgos, at the end of the day, you guys have got your happiness, you guys have got your triumph, your victory, God is on your side, because you're the divine feminine, feminine, or you're the divine masculine, you are in fact the chosen one, so no matter what people do to you at the end of the day, yeah, you might be sad, yeah, you may trip and fall, yeah, you may need to cry it out, yeah, you may be a little bit of a bitch one day, and yeah, you may cry, and want to not be around anybody, you want to just isolate yourself, and go hang out in nature, and just do your thing, but one thing's for sure, Virgos, you guys will recover very, very fast. Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. You guys are going to be just fine. You guys are also going to be doing the work here too. Also, Virgo, when it comes to your money, it looks like your money is going to be just fine with the Eight of Pentacles. Whatever work it is that you're into, whatever job it is that you're doing, it looks like it's going to work out for you guys in the long run. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. That's a lot of money. Money's coming towards you guys because you guys are really good at what it is that you do. So whatever drama that's going to be coming in for you guys, Virgos, I would say literally just uh, keep your head down, hustle, 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 and then make a move and go home. Your work friends are not your friends. So get your bag, get your money, go home, go hang out with people who are down for you and live your life and be at peace, Virgos. At the end of the day, there's some crazy shit energy that's coming in here, Virgos, and I think you guys need to really be careful uh, with all this stuff here. Uh, just please, please, please take care of yourselves. Please be careful. Um, this is a little bit of a heavy reading. And I don't know if it's going to really <laughs> resonate with a lot of you guys. But whoever this reading is for, I wish you all the best. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.